Hello everyone. Welcome back. So today's topic is going to be on Fibonacci series. Okay. So after this session, we will learn what exactly is a Fibonacci series, how to generate Fibonacci series followed by application. Why are we learning Fibonacci series and where are we going to use this Fibonacci series in real life? Problem. Fine. Okay. Now let us see the actual definition of Fibonacci series. Then later I will teach you how to generate Fibonacci series which will have correlation with the definition. Fine. Now it as it goes, the definition goes like this. It is a series of numbers which means series of continuous numbers in which a given number, the current number is obtained by the addition of two numbers before it. So the third number will be sum of the previous two numbers, the first two numbers. So mathematically it is defined as f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. Okay. Now where n is greater than 1. So this is a condition. This particular mathematical equation is associated with the famous mathematician Leonardo Pisano who is also known as Fibonacci. Okay. And he is also known as Leonardo of Pisa. Okay. So he is the person who actually found out. But before that our Indian mathematicians were already making use of the Fibonacci series in early 6th century. So this is the history of Fibonacci series. Fine. Now before going into Fibonacci series, let me teach you how to actually work with, how to obtain the series, Fibonacci series. Okay. Now coming here. Okay. Now let me start this particular series. By default, it will start with 0 and 1. Okay. First two numbers are 0 and 1. So this is default values. Fine. In the series. How to obtain the third number in the series? It is the sum of the first two. 0 plus 1 is 1. This is how you obtain the third one. Okay. Next, the current number will be, the previous two numbers are 1 and 1. So, the sum of this 2. The next number, 1 plus 2, 3. The next number, 3 plus 2, 5. And so on. So, the current number will be the sum of the previous two numbers. This is how you obtain the Fibonacci series. Okay. In addition to Fibonacci series, we should know about what exactly is a golden ratio to actually know the real-time examples of Fibonacci series. So, what is a golden ratio? Let us consider, see the series here. It is a Fibonacci series, right? Write down the Fibonacci series. Now, let me take a number. 5. 5 divided by, this is a Fibonacci uh, number in the series. 5 divided by the previous number, I'll get 1.6. Next, I'll take 8. 8 divided by 5, 1.6. 13 divided by 8, 1.625. 21 divided by 13, 1.615. And it, when it goes on, it almost comes around 1.618033. This is the actual uh, ratio, approximate ratio that you get when you divide the current Fibonacci number with the previous number. Okay, now this particular ratio is considered as golden ratio. Fine. This is obtained with the help of Fibonacci series. Now, where exactly it is used? Fibonacci series and golden ratio together. Where are they used? Mainly for architectures, designing architectures, websites and mainly it is used in designing user interfaces. Okay. So, this, these are the places where exactly Fibonacci series and golden ratio plays a vital role. Fine. But in real life, we can see where exactly Fibonacci series occurs. If you have seen flowers, Petals within the flowers will have the sequence 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. It is of the Fibonacci series. If you just have time, just go visit a flower, take a flower. It might actually a flower might have 3 petals or 5 or 8 and so on, which is a Fibonacci series. Fine. So these are a few examples of Fibonacci series. Now let me teach you how to work with, how to write um, a program for Fibonacci series. Fine. I hope you understood the concept here. Okay. Now see here. I will teach you how to write a Python code. Python program. To generate. For generating Fibonacci series. Fine. Now. What is the main logic? Now see how do I write? We First we should mathematically know how to obtain the Fibonacci series, right? So it is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on. Okay. What did I say? I said the first two numbers, default numbers should be 0 and 1. So what I do? I initialize A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1 initially since it is default. Okay. And immediately it should be printed onto the console, right? So I write print of value of A, print value of b okay then the third number is sum of the previous two numbers 0 plus 1 
third number in the series is obtained which means a plus b right oh, see the code here sum is equal to a plus b so i've got three here sum is equal to a plus b the third number in the series then i have to print it on the console so print of sum sum has in and within the variable sum so i am printing right next after printing one it moves on to the next number the next number in the series will be sum of the previous two numbers what are the sum uh, previous two numbers it is see the output here so zero after print a and b it is zero and one sum what is sum sum is 0 plus 1 sum is equal to 0 plus 1 so i'm printing sum so 1 will be printed here right so the next number in the series will be the previous two which means a value it was 0 b value was 1 right now what should be a value a value should be b value should be moved to a and some value should be this is sum some value should be moved to b right it should be moved to b so what, what, see the coding here a is equal to b b is equal to sum because I need to find out again sum is equal to a plus b, right? So I need to have the current previous two numbers. That's why we write these two instructions. Okay. Now, after this, my output will be 0, 1 and 1, right? Now, I need to print the other Fibonacci number series, other numbers in the Fibonacci series. So what should I do? It is the same instruction that will be done again and again, which means I have to combine these statements and put within the looping concept, looping concept. So looping, I can make use of while or for. So let me make use of while looping concepts here. While, I have to specify the condition. How many times? these instructions to be executed okay so how do we write the condition here i'll teach you now 0 and 1 were the default values right we already printed 2 okay now i need to stop my series somewhere which means i and i need to read the terms number of terms from the user from user right see the first line n is equal to int input input enter number of terms okay now suppose i write n is equal to 5 which means output i have to get 0 1 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 so i have to get 0 1 1 2 and 3 how many terms are there 1 2 3 4 5 so n will represent the number of terms in the output the limit okay starting from 0 okay so what should i do out of 5 i've already printed 2 right i've already printed 2 which means i have to start from the third number by default for any series n can be 10 n can be 15 for any terms i have to start printing the value from 3 so what do i do i'll have one counter i is equal to 3 because already 1 and 2 is printed okay now see the condition here i less than or equal to n 3 from 3 to n i have to check and i have to execute this got it then after each iteration i have to give i is equal to i plus 1 i'll teach you why i'm writing this particular statement here fine then finally print program executed successfully fine okay this is the part of the code only this much is the code n is equal to int input enter the number of terms a equal to 0 b equal to 1 i is equal to 3 print a print b then while i less than or equal to n sum is equal to sum a plus b print of sum a equal to b b is equal to sum i is equal to i plus 1 this comes under looping finally program executed successfully fine so let me trace the code now tracing okay a equal to 0 b equal to 1 i is equal to 3 fine so initially a equal to 0 b is equal to 1 i is equal to 3 then print a and print b is the statements so output print a and print b what is a value 0 what is b value 1 so 0 and 1 is printed now what is i i is equal to 3 right now it will come here see the tracing part trace 1 i is equal to 3 3 less or equal to what is n value n value is 5 according to my uh, a, uh, assumption so n is equal to 5 here okay now it will come 3 is less or equal to 5 it is true so it enters what is sum sum is equal to what is a a 0 and 1 0 plus 1 
sum is equal to 1. After that, what is A value? It is value of B. What is B? 1. What is B value? Value of sum. So, it is 1. Now, the current value of A and B are 1 and 1. And then, I am incrementing I is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, I value is equal to 4. Okay. Which means 3 values sum I am printing, right? So, 1. Sum, after sum is equal to a plus b, I have to print 1. So, 3 numbers are printed. Now, I have to move to the next term. That's why we increment i is equal to i plus 1. If we do not use this particular statement, you can try this. Comment this particular line and try executing. Output will move infinitely. Okay, infinitely Fibonacci series will be displayed if you don't give this i is equal to i plus 1. 1 is to print the next number so that only up to the n terms I will get the output. If not, it moves infinitely. Fine. Now, after this sentence, it moves to the next iteration trace 2. What is i value 4? 4 is less than or equal to 5. It is true. It enters. What is sum? Sum is equal to a plus b. 1 plus 1. It is 2. Print Two. So, it will come here. What is A? A value is equal to B. What is current value of B? 1. Fine. Uh, what is B? B is equal to sum. Sum is equal to 2. Now, A and B are 1 and 2 here. Fine. Now, I. what is I? I is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, next iteration, I will be 5. Trace 3. Trace 3. 5 is less than or equal to 5. It is true. So, it enters. What is sum? Sum is equal to A value is 1 and B value 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Print sum. So, 3 will be printed onto the terminal. Fine. Then, A is equal to what is B value? 2. B value, sum value is 3. Now, A and B is 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Okay. A and B is 2 and 3. Then, I value is equal to 5 plus 1, 6. Now, trace 4. 6 is less than or equal to 5, false, which means program terminates. It comes to the next line and I get the output program executed successfully. After printing the output onto the terminal, I get program executed successfully. Okay, in order to print the numbers finitely, I use i is equal to i plus 1. Infinitely, you just remove this and start printing. You will get infinite series of Fibonacci. Okay, so I hope you understood the basics of Fibonacci series, how to generate Fibonacci series, where exactly we are using the Fibonacci series in our real-time life. Thank you.